All right, welcome back to another episode of Everybody's Favorite Red Mage, the podcast of number 105. I'm Nofing Wei, a.k.a. Spencer, and this is a five-minute breakdown of a Red Magic the Gathering card. The properties, missed opportunities, are honestly what I think. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Nofingway for a $0 free experience. I'll show you how to get it done. Today is the card from the set March of the Machines. Into the Fire. Three mana, two, and a red. For sorcery, rare. Choose one. Bullet point. Into the fire. Deals two damage to each creature, planeswalker, and battle. Second bullet. Put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library. Then draw that many cards plus one. Uh, very, 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 very sorcery of you. I like this picture, okay? The coolest thing about this card is the picture. <laughs> okay? If this was an instant, this card would be the bomb. So if I could change something right away, this card would be epic, all right? I would make it a mythic right away by making it an instant. Making a sorcery is too susceptible to blue spells. It's just too reactive. There's a lot of other cards that can respond to this, which makes this card very, not very, very weak, but susceptible to your opponents doing something tricky. And in Magic, you need to have tricks. If you don't have tricks, that, that you have, you're, you're susceptible to, or you're vulnerable, really, to your opponents just having better cards. Now, red always has this problem of your opponents having better cards, especially coming now into the later uh, later part of red, that they're not giving good red cards to them. For example, into the fire. You're telling me it's doing three damage, right? Uh, three mana for two damage. Three mana for two damage. What are you guys doing? Huh, Watsy? You already made one mana, two damage. Now you're making three mana, two damage? I don't care. This card is not a good card. Right? You're, I don't care. You, it's going to hit all creatures and all planeswalkers. It's going to hit your creatures too. Right? It's going to hit your stuff. Read the card, right? It says two damage to each. Right? This could be one-sided. It could be on your side. Right? I could see it being one-sided and being on your side. Right? All right. Cool. That can be helpful, but Pyroclasm already exists, and Pyroclasm costs two mana, okay? And there are better Pyroclasms, right? And then now with, like, Into the like into the Brotherhood or whatever that does three to three, it's so good, right? I was like, why would I do this, right? It's like Creature, Planeswalker, and Battle. I, I think this is for battles. I think that's the only reason why they introduced this card, is so they could use the word battle, yeah? Then the second part is, all right. Right, because you draw a card. Now put any number of cards in the. Yeah, cool. You're a combo card. Awesome. Right. Cool. Like I'm gonna, f I'm gonna just flush away all my red mountains. Sounds good. Remember, this is coming from the perspective of a red aggro player. I think that second part is all right because you draw a card, right? But it's like, are you really gaining an advantage, right? You, so, so is someone gonna tap out on three, right? On turn three, are they gonna tap out into the fire? <laughs> Right, like are, if, if, unless your opponent has hella goblins or hella elves, right? Are you gonna go turn three into the fire? Right, because that card would be awesome against. I can see this working really well against elves if they go turn two, elf, elf lord, turn three, turn three, uh, planeswalker, elf, whatever. Right, and then you're like, cool, into the fire, eat everybody up, right. That could be cool. Goblins can be all right, too. They can go turn one Gobbo, turn two Gobbo, turn three Gobbo into the fire, right? This can be really cool for those pesky little dorks, and I feel like that can probably give you a slight advantage at sorcery speed for standard, especially standard of, what is this, April 2023? It's about to be main, like, two days. I, I think that this, this does have a chance in standard, but outside of standard, this card is horrible. If it was a sorcery, it would be the bomb.com. Oh my goodness, respond, do two damage to everything? Yeah, get out of here. This card would be sickening. It would be absolutely gross, and I would have four in the board immediately. Especially if it could be like, in response, draw this many cards. Like, what? That'd be gr that'd be nasty, right? If you're like, uh, Thoughtsies, you're like, oh, respond into the fire. And then they're like, wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> right because then you're like toss your whole hand because i because you're gonna pick the i'm just gonna draw whatever and then you decide <laughs> right that'd be the bomb but whatever you tell me what you think okay thanks for the time you tell me do you agree with me do you disagree with me let me know is there something here that you see that i don't let me know with a message on instagram youtube the podcast or twitch.tv slash no effing way
right? Last, you tell me what other card I should review, yeah? Episode 105 in the books. Peace.